After successfully opening a Wingstop franchise, Cassandra Stokes was looking for another restaurant concept that wouldn't compete with her popular chicken wing business. I searched for years uh, for that and it was kind of serendipitous because I finally, um, one day we were up in Longview for a soccer tournament for my daughter and we walked into a nukes there and I knew as soon as I walked in I told my husband, this is what Nacogdoches needs, this is perfect. Cassandra did her research and liked the nukes concept. She found that along with a healthy meal menu, the business would offer customers a quick meal grab-and-go selection and a flexible catering service to fit a variety of different size groups, tastes, and venues. With the help of uh, the EDC here, we were able to convince them that uh, Nacogdoches could come first because I wasn't going to sign an agreement unless Nacogdoches could be the first one. Once Cassandra secured the franchise, the search for the perfect place to open the business began. She discussed the project with several in the community. Ed Poole had been helping me search and uh, his family decided that they would go and eat at a nukes. He came back to me and he said, we would love for you to have it on our family's property where uh, we used to live when he was a child growing up. For me, I, I was so excited, it brought me to tears. The anchor um, tenant is most important in a shopping center and she became our anchor as we, we began the process. It was really good for us and for her as well because it created so much traffic in the area that it caused our second building to fill up quickly. Along with building the restaurant, Cassandra built what could be called a dream team. Several of the first hires have been promoted and are still in the business. The Nacogdoches restaurant operates with approximately 40 employees. We hire hospitality here. Um, when people come in uh, for the interviews, we're not necessarily looking for any kind of experience uh, or background. What we're looking for are happy people that smile and have a great attitude. And the team has proven to be outstanding. The restaurant has earned numerous Best of NAC awards. The Nukes Eatery system has recognized the local business, bestowing prestigious awards such as the Quarterly Traveling Trophy for Restaurant Operations and Sanitation Evaluations in both 2015 and 2016. The Nacogdoches restaurant gained national attention when it was awarded 2015 Franchisee of the Year. In 2017, the store earned a perfect score of 100% on the rigorous biannual industry food safety evaluation. But for Cassandra and her team, the most notable accomplishment might be earning the 2016 Top Store for raising funds for the Ovarian Cancer Research Fund Alliance. In September, we have the Teal Cups. You'll see the managers wearing teal shirts on Sunday. And this year, we're kind of doing something fun. We'll have a teal um, strip in our hair. Um, it's so, um, when you're out of the store, somebody goes, why do you have teal hair, Jessica? Well, I have teal hair because we're raising money uh, and um, educating women about ovarian cancers. Cassandra will keep growing her Nukes Eatery family. She plans to open her third restaurant in a location soon to be named. The store really, though, has been more of a community gathering place and it's where all my friends and family come to eat. And so for me, it's almost a little bit like having everybody in my house. The Nacogdoches County Chamber of Commerce is proud to name the Nacogdoches Nukes Eatery as the 2017 Medium Business of the Year.